Uh, Banka ng Buhay is uh, actually a livelihood program and it's already the last stage of our support to the Typhoon Yolanda or Typhoon Haiyan impacted communities, particularly in Cebu uh, and, uh, uh, and in Leyte. Um, under this program, we are actually partnering with the Department of Education, Philippine Business for Social Progress, and the Grense Volunteers for Change. So we are donating a total of 38 boats to fishermen in the island barangays of Shera Islands and Catpalogan City. So we are getting a commitment from the boatmen to ferry uh, more than 300 public school students um, li living in the island barangays every day for one school year. So that's giving uh, public school students free access to education. And in between uh, the ferrying of the students, the boatmen can use these boats to, for livelihood and even on weekends. So, okay, so it's a two-pronged approach. One is an approach on the livelihood of the fishermen and one allowing the children to reach their schools. Now, for the 38 boats, how many school children will that be able to help? Um, that would be a total of 300 for one school year. Uh, aside from, I, I think you mentioned about livelihood and combining it with access to education. I think that's what makes Banka ng Buhay kind of unique because the other programs of the DEP Ed would really just be pedals and paddles, meaning a private institution or corporate donors will just be giving boats uh, or uh, bikes you know, to, to public schools, particularly in the hard to reach areas. But this one, we are also giving livelihood uh, support to the wives of the boatmen. So that, uh, that means giving them capacity building trainings uh, and also startup capital so they can have their own uh, enterprise, small enterprises aside from really depending on fishing. Now you say that it's only be for one year. So what happens after that? There's no um, commitment there is, from the fishermen to continue yeah, this after yeah. that one we year? We actually looked into that. In fact, we, uh, there would be a separate uh, agreement between the public school because the boats are actually owned by the, the, the public schools and then there would be a separate agreement with the boatmen. So the commitment is to ferry the public school students for at least three to five years and it will be like the set, uh, sweat equity of the boatmen and after that period then the boats will be awarded to the, to the fishermen. Yeah. Now how many, uh, so this is actually just a, the, the start because you say it's, you're just launching it. When do you expect this to actually be full um, We are launching it already within the next couple of weeks. Um, uh, I'd like to mention as well that this, uh, that this is actually the last part already of our support to the uh, impacted communities because back in 2013, just to share with you, Eugene, uh, back in 2013, the bank has immediately responded by donating 50,000 US dollars to Philippine Red Cross. Uh, for immediate relief operations and we had a global fundraising campaign which was which was actually much by the bank uh, we were able to raise uh, more than 500,000 US dollars which was used for the rehabilitation uh, process so for the past two years we have already donated uh, more than or about 90 houses in Cebu. So this is part of the final Related. phase of that's that you right, know, full cycle. Right. But now, is there a plan to expand this to other locations? Because right now, it's just in Catbalogan. That's right. Is there right. a plan to bring it to other places which are also similarly affected Actually, and similarly in need of something like that's this? That's right. That's right. In fact, uh, the Catbalogan City program, the Banca ng Buhay, is just one of the two livelihood programs that we're doing. So we're launching another one in Bantayan, Cebu, also in August. So that will also give uh, more than uh, livelihood enterprises to more than 130 displaced families in Bantayan, particularly in Bantayan, Cebu. We are working also with the Philippine Business for Social Progress and uh, Gawad Kalinga for that one. So we are hoping to be able to expand and do more in, in the next couple of years. So we, this is like a pilot uh, program for... Uh, and it's any move that will allow you know, our children to be able to attend schools right. and you That's know right. prevent them from being absent from the class. Would agree, be very much agree. welcome. You know, just to again share with you, last month I went to to Samar uh, and I mean to particularly have an immersion and be able to talk with the program partners and to talk to the beneficiaries themselves. And it's so disheartening to find out that the public school students would have to ferry every day, pay five pesos, which is not easy amount for them because their families are really averagely earning about uh, 100 or 200 pesos every day. So for those who cannot really afford to, to pay for the boat ride, they really just wrap their school materials in plastics and seal them and then they really swim 
for about 20 minutes and then when they get to the island they still walk about 40 minutes more uh, just to get to school so the this um, uh, the dropout rate year on year when i found out is about 46 percent so, so we hope that this will definitely make a yeah. difference in terms of addressing yeah. that problem okay.